you can follow also that one the the basic very basic javascript javascript frameworks and then so on so forth you can start with that one also those who has no experience about the javascript how javascript work how the you 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 can write down your javascript functions and integrate those javascript function into the your enterprise or your web application that's i mean so let, let's go there so that means you have a, all digitization functionalities you have a overview maps you can switch on switch off you have a zoom in zoom out functions and navigation function even though we have the use the mouse positions uh, the coordinate uh, as a meter scale even though you can put it as a degree degree minute seconds as like other applications i have it in the in the in, the, in the, my my my, my channels so you have the, the address follow up to address informations you see that it's very efficient way to to handle it and then you have the term geo get exactly the same thing here so you can switch on switch up your geospatial data sets and then it's 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 really efficient way to handle those those things very quick and very efficient and then it works automatically you have a lot of possibility you can switch off switch off different maps and then so, so it is not allowed to very beginning level so you have so all the maps even though you can without maps you can also go like like very simple phases of your applications very simple without base map you can go also this one because all the projections all the reporting all the all things is done properly so if you say okay we don't need any base maps just delete it forget it everything that you need so you have some very simple cases of you see that there's some plot information only single plots i think so there is a this design only here <coughs> So you can switch off the, the, the Google Terrian maps. If I go this way, you see the, the Google if I'm, I'm, I'm locating in 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 in, in Europe, there's the restriction for loading the Google maps. You have some some Terrian maps, you can switch off the Terrian map over even though uh, so let's 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 focus. So you see the how it is. So you see the Darien maps in the Google. So you have the more options. You have some satellite maps in satellite view, and you have the street view, the normal street view of Google Maps, and then the, that's a and then hybrid map and the Google hybrid map, and then in the by default I set it here open street maps by default. So that that means you need to need to be. That's why that's why I said I will go to every step. How can you how can you implement those? those 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 switching by layering or grouping the layer functionalities in the in every line of code in my implementation we already implemented it but uh, we will continue the further implementations and then overview with you how can you continue and every step by step to implement those features and those functionalities together so project is there just we need to be understand how it works but today i tried to give it to you the really overview of your uh, the applications overview how the features which feature functionality we try to use which understanding you need to do and how can you start the 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 java based web gis programming or web mapping programming with the very simple javascript libraries like open layers or leaflet or google maps apis and then how can you write down your own customs JavaScript functions and integrate those JavaScript functions into the your web application? If you saw the picture like API statics for these structures, uh, you have JavaScript folders and then you have your own written JavaScript files. You see the JavaScript files is there. So all the JavaScript files, and this is all the JavaScript file you are written down yourself. And that means you need a basic understanding of the your, your JavaScript, and then that's why I said I have a very beginning course, very beginning screencast about the JavaScript and the JavaScript frameworks. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's the proper structure of the Spring Boot based time leap JavaScript uh, time leap application structure. Thus, I said I will talk a little bit later. But those who are have no experience about the time leaps 
or any JavaScript frameworks like template engine, you can do it. Can you can continue and learn it and do the your your professional works. Uh, let's go back the presentation. That's we we have it uh, in the presentation. That's normally I do the presentation part when when someone has uh, some theoretical experience to know how we are talking about which features, which functionalities. That's we have it. That's why I'm trying every time to make some some presentation or theory part and then do the the understanding of the features and functionalities and do the implementation of your functionalities. That's my way of doing so or as a way of doing of professional works. So you need to understand what you need to do, which features, which functionality you need to implement and then uh, you recap this all everything, uh, uh, understand it and then start the developments. The development is very simple, very very easy but you need to be model it, you need to think about how you can start. But it, I understand this it was a very beginner, so it is hard job. But when you pick up, it is very easy as a development, as a as a geo, or geo development. It's very very simple. All tools, all libraries doesn't matter. A JavaScript based library, Java libraries, all are there. You can you can use it and implement very quickly the features. But you need the basic understanding uh, of the functionalities and how technology works. And how they both all technologies come up together. That's that's uh, that's why I'm trying to do with you. The how can you think? How can you start? And how can you integrate? And how can you update your skill sets? Or where is the leggings? You have to learn it and then put your implementation. If you pick up the whole complete structure, features, or functionalities together, then it is very easy. That's I. Uh, from, that's my understanding. This is. Let's go go to the presentation part. That's I have it in the presentations. So presentation part we already talk about the detail is the presentation part. If you have no experience with any UI development frameworks like like Angular, React, that's I said, and then if you have them time leaps, free marker, Grail, JSF, JSP, and then so on so forth. Then you can start with the very specific. Uh, frameworks and then you can integrate all things together because framework did, did for you so everything is friendly it's designed structured that you can put it code and build web applications if you use the framework if you don't use the framework any frameworks like you try to make make very simple web pages with the web gis web web maps or web gis functionalities very simple only presenting the geospatial data sets then don't care any angular react or any java frameworks you can simply go with that one so javascript very simple html css open layers leaflets google maps apis and so on and so forth and then in behind the scene geo server that means you need geo server leaflet open layer any of them and then very simple javascript html css build your web gis application it works automatically that's i that's i'm trying to do if those who has no experience about ui frameworks or java programming but even though those who have only fresher or beginners they can start with the geo programming or web gis programming with very simple javascript html css and very simple Open layers, leaflet, JavaScript library with GeoServer. That's my intention. All levels of the developers, all levels of the professionals, like beginners and professionals. That's my intention. So we already talk about the screencast number thirty-five. I have the Node.js, Angular, TypeScript, Open Layer, GeoServer based application, complete enterprise level application. You can go this one, and and those who have the open layers using his his, his professional work job they can go this one if those who are using only replay then they can go the screencast number two for this one and screencast number uh, seven and those who has no uh, exactly the other application like that way so this is only the part of the geo part so all the geo functionalities is there only in the non-geo part like the GUI developments, it is not here implemented yet. But this here, the GUI implementation, the complete application is here. So we see the complete application 35. But uh, 
the screencast number seven is only for the on the geo functionalities there so you can follow this one that's 